You guys really believe we were dead? Ha ha ha, that's hilarious. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Mario RPG, A Legend of Seven Stars. We did it. We're alive. And we got the star. Send the last one way up high. Wait, you guys haven't been holding on to them? You've just been sending them back up into the sky? He has a flying axe. Well, he did have a flying axe ship. He could have gone and claimed them. How careless is that? What is wrong with you guys? And they had all the stars they needed, other than the one in Barrel Volcano. Good lord! How, how stupid are you people? That's a huge plot hole. Not a plot hole, a plot hole. And now we get stars rotating at different speeds. I love that star piece music, so beautiful. And now they're flashing! We did it, guys! We did it! The star road is going to be a whole lot more. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, Gino. Because you were awesome. I love that. Mm -hmm, he does. And... And for those of you who don't know, Gino went on to a long and fruitful career for Square and Nintendo. And by that, I mean he has a cameo in one other game. I don't think he's in any other game after this. He's a very interesting character. A lot of people really like him, me included, and he never got used again. It became the big war cry for a long time. We gotta get Gino in another game. Well, they did, and it was only a cameo in a mini game, and you don't even play. He just explains the rules. How ridiculous is that? Just awful. What's not awful? This game. This game's pretty sweet. Oh, look at Mary. He looks so sad. I think he's going to cry. That was ridiculous looking. And now they're all happy for some reason. Bowser looked like he had uh, lipstick on, but it was actually just Mallow's uh, pink shoe. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, can we get off this screen? That big face in the background is going to give me nightmares. Can we just... Thank you. Yeah, we saw the screen already, Gino. Could we just... Yeah, there we go. Let's get a move on. Get your rainbow stars out of here. Get your rainbow island butt back to the sky and fix that road. Oh, yeah. And so, Jesus was born in the Mushroom Kingdom that day. And all rejoiced as he was born in Exor. I mean, the stable. Bowser's castle. I mean, they turn to dust. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. And that's the end of the Smithy Gang. And thus, the genocide of an entire race of homicidal maniacs was completed. Way to go, Mario. Way to go. You are the new Sarah Connor. Good work. It's all sewed together and fixed, you see. That's adorable. And the moon's way too cute. Just way too cute. And now we get to see what happens with everybody. And there's Mallow with a little silver crown on. He'll be king one day. A crying king. And everyone will be washed away. Maybe he will no longer cry. And there goes the statue maker. He's like, oh shit, I gotta start making more statues now. That poor guy. He must love making statues. Or he just really hates life and can't afford a gun to put a bullet in his mouth. I'm just saying. <laughs> They're fixing it. Wait, is the shyster, uh... Shy guy. I uh, Screw Shyster. The Shy guy's got his KKK car. Or his KKK um, outfit there. His vehicle. The Koopa Clown car is KKK. Just so you people know. It's ridiculous. Utterly and completely ridiculous. Oh, Jonathan Jones. Don't spend too much time on land, buddy. You'll die. You were fun to fight, but I didn't want to fight you one-on-one. -on -one. That's annoying. One-on-one -on -one fights suck. Never, ever forget that. It's always better to have your numbers on your side and be cheap. Like I was. It's good times. Croco's gonna win. Oh, no, Croco. You got suckered, son. Aww. Croco and Boshi are gonna be buddies. That makes sense. They're both darkened souls. But why do we really need to wrap up Yoshir's Isle? I didn't spend any time there, really. Todovsky. Hey, Todovsky. What's going on, buddy? And there's, um... 
There's Frog Fuchsius, and there's his little frog salesman buddy from Seaside Town, who gave us the experience booster that made Gino so awesome. Oh my god, he was so good. He was so good. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it so much, I want to marry it. Well, no, not really. All right. And they're getting married, and Do Dodo has his... Anyone can become a licensed uh, minister, I think. Seriously. You can do it on the internet, I think, nowadays, for God's sakes. It takes like an hour or two, and you can conduct an official marriage. Kind of wrecked. Kind of, kind of messed up, not going to lie. Thank you. Man, Mario looks very, very swarthy here. My goodness. We did it, guys. We did it. And thus concludes the game. They don't wink at me. But no, it's not over. Now we get the credits. And they're long credits, and it's a big long parade, and I love the music. Hey, there's Luigi! He made it in the game. This is like really where Luigi started to get shafted hard. Here's a cameo for Luigi. He gets to conduct a parade. This twirl of baton. This is probably where he became such a, a wimpy man, too. It's a piranha, pi piranha plant pipe organ. Nice. Oh, yeah. Having some fun. I gotta think that playing a piranha plant pipe organ's gotta be dangerous. There's the royal bus. And right on. There's Mallow with his symbols. Good jump, buddy. For a guy who can't jump, that was pretty spectacular. And why is Frog Fuchsius just bringing tadpoles through the air? I have no idea. It's ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous. Now they're walking, because they, they're evolving, you see? That's why he's doing He's forcing them to evolve. He's a Pokemon trainer. All right, cool. Oh, there's Dinah and Might walk on top of a big bomb held by the mole miners of Moleville. Fair enough. And he gods. Ah, oh, it's got to be, of course, it's Koopa. It's Bowser's castle. It's Koopa on the move, being hauled by some chomps. And some hammer brothers. Oh, I don't like this. Watch your front door. But he just stole some rocks. What's the big deal? Uh-oh. Bowser's pissed. That guy does not catch a break in this game, does he? Does he? Kanishi. Or Kanichi. I don't know how to say that. There's Valentina being carried by Dodo. Where's your husband, woman? Where is the booster? There go some balloons. Alright. That's kind of random. Dodo, why do you put up with that crap? You should just eat her. You're fat enough and big enough. Pfft, wow. I would not take that, buddy. That must be Booster. It's a train. It's gotta be Booster. Yeah, here he comes. Gonna have some fun, Booster. Who's driving? There's no one at the controls. Ah, who cares? It's Booster. It's probably allowed to go. And they're Beetle catching the silly Sniffets. And he's gonna go catch one, too. Just this runaway train, never coming back. Wrong way on a one-way parade track. It's just gone. No one's in control. And for that matter, how's the train moving when it's not even on, uh tracks and <laughs> they stole their stuff and he's got the clown car <laughs> wow ridiculous and the Beatles are gonna beat everyone Paul Ringo and all the rest George and old John Lennon and the fifth Beatle was I uh, um, Apu from the Simpsons true story all right here come the guys who were dead they look pretty good for ghosts and I'm, I'm assuming yeah here comes Mac and Yuridovich and Bowyer yeah, it's Bowyer, or Bowyer, however you say it. He's riding Blade, and there's Smithy. So all we're missing are the Axum Rangers and Punchinello, who, as someone pointed out in the comments, never appeared in the factory. He didn't get a Punchinello, too. I guess because his boss fight was based around those bombs and stuff? I don't know. But he didn't make it in, for whatever reason. They didn't make a Punchinello, too. I guess they thought he was too lame, even though he was quite the dangerous foe. And there comes Jonathan Jones, with his enslaved Kraken doing the walking, and it's turning into night. And now they light it up, and everything gets all festive. Pretty sweet. Speaking of festive, those guys look like they belong on Bravo with bandanas like that. If you know, you catch my meaning. You know what I'm talking about. They're pirates, all right. <laughs> and how are the toads glowing in the dark? That's pretty cool. Of course, some uh, fungi do actually have phosphorescent uh, cap capabilities or abilities or... Um, attributes, if you will. Does that make sense? That one there, you probably shouldn't eat, because you'd probably die, or hallucinate a ridiculous amount. Hey, I think we're getting close to the castle here, finally. I'm trying to remember if that mushroom changes at all. No, no, it, that's later, when we get fireworks. Depending on how many fireworks you bought 
uh, in game from a character. You can trade a character in Moleville for uh, fireworks, or maybe you can just buy them. Regardless, you can uh, you can change the fireworks in the ending based on how many you buy. Oh, Koji Kondo! I saw that man again. Kayomi McDonald. That is a weird combination there. And the music gets really nice here. I love that ending. And then Gino comes down to say hi, because we nearly missed that boy. That's the end of him. Wow, look at the size of Toadstool's neck there. That was crazy. She's like, giraffe neck elevate. What the hell, game? What the hell? Just a little scary. Not gonna lie, that was a little scary. So yeah, eventually one of these fireworks would be in the shape of something. And I think if you had like two or three fireworks, you get a, something different. And then it's, I think or maybe it's one to two or three to four or different kinds. And then I think if you buy five or more, it's the top one. It's not a big deal. That's why I never bothered with it. But you can do it. You can you can do all kinds of crazy things. I mean, I'm missing some secrets in this game. There's a ton to do in this game. It's pretty sweet. And here you go. This is the firework in question. It's a mushroom. Ah. I think you can also get a flower and a star, but I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, it's not a huge deal. And you got to sit through the whole ending. Really? Really? I don't know about that. Oh, there goes Gino again. He did it. He's back to the star road. He's in charge again, and now it is the... And ah, uh, that's adorable. But that's not the end for us, guys. We still have a few things to wrap up and do. In effect, there's two bosses I've never fought. One of them you have to fight three times. So we'll probably do one video on him and then one video on the special boss. And then I'll more or less do it and maybe maybe a little bit of running around for some secrets I missed. Oh, that's adorable. With this nice little lullaby, we send you off into this fine evening. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. I totally stole that. I'm such a thief! <laughs>